Okay, we're doing day two of late start, and Ashley wants to start reading this with you. <laughs> okay, Ashley, wrote it. well, what is the book called? The book with no pictures. Okay. My only friend in the whole wor wide world is a hippo named Boo Boo Butt. <laughs> Boo Boo Butt. <laughs> I can't repeat it. Daddy said you were giggling. We'll have to finish it later because we're late for bus. Should we show me your hair? So she's got her unicorn ears, but then turn around. We got unicorn ears back here too. <laughs> we did double buns. Two. Let me show them from the top. Not cute. And a tube ear. Yep. Okay, it's time for school. Get your backpacks and your shoes on really quick. So Jason and I are gonna, are gonna run out and run errands right after we go to the bus because we've lost two hours of our morning. I've started to work on yesterday's video with all the flooding and I'm getting footage of from all my friends. They were sending it to me late last night. So I'm gonna add that footage to the video so that you guys can see a better perspective of different areas than we were able to go to. So hang on, I gotta take them to the bus and we'll go to Target and REI and somewhere else and now I can't remember. All right, we're at um, Cafe Rio. Jason got like a, when you got? Burrito. So sweet pork burrito. And I just got some chips and the house dressing. I'm not really that hungry. House dressing's great. Yeah. Okay, so at REI, we just went to REI. I was looking for some flip flops and just trying them on. Because obviously we have a shoe store so we can buy some from there, but I like to try them on first. So I find a local store and I try them on and then <laughs> we can order them from our store. Okay, but I was just looking at my Instagram, just kind of sitting here hanging out. And when we were in REI, the front thing in, in REI, REI was um, camping chairs. And I said to Jason that what I want for, what did I say, Mother's Day this year? I usually get something for the beach. I get like a, my wagon I got for Mother's Day. I've gotten, I've gotten some other things for the beach, summertime, kind of things like that. So I had said, I want a really good like chair for the beach, like fold up chair or whatever. Walked into REI. We're looking at those, they had like, re you know, recliner ones and rocking chair ones. And then I looked at my Instagram and this is the ad on They're my totally like app. Every single one of the sponsored ideas it's is a chairs. cooler or camping chair or tent. It must have known we were in REI, if it's showing tents. But this is a Walmart sponsored ad. Oh. But like, seriously, that's insane to me. You're being watched. All right, I tell you guys, you gotta get this Fetch app. Let me show you what it looks like here in a second. But I just got the shampoo and the coarse hot pasta sides, a conditioner and a shampoo. So I got 21 points each for the shampoo and conditioner, 51 points for the pasta, and look at that, 750 points for a com combination of buying the shampoo and conditioner. So for, I got a total of 825 points. Look at that. Look at that, baby. So let me show you what it looks like. Um, it's just this little fetch app. I've got it linked below. Use my code to get it an immediate 2,000 points. So you just use that code when you download the fetch app and then it'll get 2,000 points automatically. And then I think your first download, you get like another 2,000 or something. You'll start out with like 4,000 points, like with your first uploading of a receipt. I don't know if, it, I'm assuming it does it inter internationally because it's just for regular groceries. So you should try it. And I, you know, if you share it with others then you can get referral points as well. But I'm almost to a $13 Amazon gift card. And if I get, I think actually it may be all, Check here, let me see how many points I have. Oh yeah, I'm only 200 points away from a $13 gift card to Amazon. I'm just gonna keep doing the points and then um, I'm probably gonna do like one last like travel order for our trip and use as much of a gift card as I can. Or probably will get it up to like $20 gift card. So anyway, you should give it a try. I'll put the code for my referral down in the description so you can go check it out there. All right, so we are back from Costco. We did something a little bit different, not Costco. <laughs> Target, it's either Target or Costco. But we did something different with, we got more pastas. And we usually just get like the, let me show you, just these little boxes of pasta from Target or grocery store or whatever. But our girls love to come home, Abby and Kaylee love to come home from school and make pasta 
put butter and Parmesan or white sauce or something on it. Our older two girls tend to make more of a meal right after school. And so we decided to just go ahead and pack it in an actual tub, you know, because then the open box, it's turn, you know, spills and whatnot. And now they can just make it themselves. But I wanted to show you something I got for my new car. Jason's letting me buy a few little extras right now. I would have bought them had he said no anyway. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're not giving me permission. But it's also like it is a, not even a splurge. It's like $2.99 and $3.99. So let me show you what I, what I got for my car. I'm really excited because, you know, bathroom shower brushes and bleach and shampoo, those aren't very exciting. We did get my nephew some Pokemon cards. His birthday party is tomorrow. Chelsea's gonna go to that. And then we got Valentine's. I am boring. I don't do a whole lot of effort for Valentine's. It just is a thing. But let me show you what I got for my new car. I'm really excited. All right, so the first thing I got is this air freshener. So it's Bahama and Company Sea Turtles. I don't even know what the, the scent is. But I don't know what the scent is. It smells good. Wild Hibiscus is what the scent is. But look at it, you guys. It's a bobblehead turtle. Can you see him? Look at it in the picture here. You see it? Isn't he so cute? So he, his head like bobbles. You see him? So you just put it on your dashboard and then he's got like a coconut shell with a little flower on the back of it. It says Bahama and Company. And then he like bobbles. Isn't that so stinking cute? All right, then the other thing that I got is this little hanging flower. It's like a little lay. Um, and it just hangs from your rear view mirror. And I just like it. This one is got like the pink flowers here and then the little ones right there. The last one I had was white and then little, I can't remember, maybe white flowers right there. But it's the same scent as my little turtle. And I just love them. They're just, it just I'm so excited. And I just got word from the my our friends that our car is on the way. You can go ahead and watch your show, Jace. <laughs> I had to mute it. My car is on its way on the truck. It's gonna get delivered. It has to stay in Boise through Monday, I think. Boise, Idaho. And then it'll get shipped here to Seattle on Tuesday. So today is Friday. So I had to go through the weekend without it. But it's cute because my mom and dad went down to the dealership where my friend and her husband work and run own. And my, my parents, my dad took pictures of my car and like emailed them to me, which I think is really cute. Um, and it's funny that he emailed them to me because he could just take him from his phone and text it to me. <laughs> Dad, I love you if you're watching this. So um, anyway, that was just cute that they wanted to like go and see my car. It's in my hometown, so they can, you know, get to see it before I do. But I'm excited to, if you can't tell, to get my new car. But I have to be patient. We also have to figure out how to get to church on Sunday <laughs> without a car big enough. So I've got to call a friend to see if they can take one of our kids. Because <laughs> we only have Jason's car to get to church. And he was like, Oh, uh, we should just stay home. And then Abby has a meeting, two meetings in the morning to go to because she's in a presidency for her youth group. And so, like, <laughs> I don't really feel like it would be okay to, like, take her to her meetings and then just not go to church an hour later. I just think that would be really weird and awkward. So, got to figure out a ride to church. I'll deal with not having a car on Monday and then I get my car on Tuesday. You guys, I am so... So excited. I don't know, well I guess it did just happen. I thought the car was already loaded and on its way, but my friend just texted us videos of my car getting loaded onto the truck. So I'm gonna insert that right here. And it's my friend Mark who is talking. He owns Onyx Auto Sales in Logan, Utah. And I will leave a link to their, I think they have a website and then they have a YouTube channel as well. So you can check out the, the cars that they're currently selling. And I'm just so appreciative of him and his wife, Shauna. Shauna is my best friend from high school, from growing up. And um, they've just been really patient with us being anxious about getting this car and working this whole deal for us. So he also knows that I wanted footage of my car <laughs> and thankfully he sent this video. It's really fun. It shows the car getting put onto the truck and then it's coming my way. And I, he said we might get it Monday night. So maybe Jason can actually come with me. It might be dark, but hopefully it'll be in a parking lot that's well lit. So maybe we'll get lucky that Jason can come with me. We might have to fight traffic, but maybe, maybe, maybe. 
I'm so excited. Here, let me show you where my new my new car. Okay, guys. There you go. It's getting on the truck right now. We're in Logan. 425 is when he's loading it. Um, what he was telling me is that it's probably gonna be getting the car right around Tuesday night or Monday night. I mean, I know it's kind of nerve wracking looking at it. Here he goes, guys. It's up on getting up on the truck now. Here we go. Look at that. Watching what he's doing because he knows I'm videoing him. Seems like a good guy, like he knows what he's doing, so I wouldn't worry about it. It's up on the truck now in Logan, Utah. 425, ready to be transported to Dana and Jason Brown in Washington. If anybody ever needs anything transported or you need to, you need to send something up for people, let me know. Um, Dana and Jason, let me know if I can help out with anything that you guys need. There it is. Okay, guys, let me know when you get it. Bye. All right, so I've been busy working on that video of our flood from yesterday. It's going to be a fun one. I did take out a whole chunk of stuff on my face peeling procedure. If you ever want to see that, I can do a separate video of just that because the video was going to be too long and I wanted to kind of keep it focused on the flooding. So leave a comment below if you want to see how I use that um, face peel. It's not a mask. It literally just kind of sloughs off the first layer of skin. I digress. Um, I just finished that video, took that part out. If you want to know about it, let me know. Um, but I have to go get ready for my Galentine's party tonight. I'm just going to upload my video really quick and get ready. And I've got my gift here. Here's a little tip. Well, you know how you get a gift and it's an awkward shape and you can't wrap it and you don't want to spend another five, six, seven dollars on a gift bag, go to Marshall's, TJ Maxx, and get one of their recyclable bags. <laughs> They're 99 cents. Who cares that it says Home Goods or Marshall's? But I think it's a really cute bag, and I'm just gonna go throw in some tissue paper. I've got my blanket and that licorice that I got yesterday. Add some tissue paper, and it's a really cute little gift. All right, I'm kind of being a wuss. <laughs> It's torrential downpours, thunder, lightning, unit wind, the power keeps like flipping in and out. So I'm having Jason take me over to my friend's house and she's literally around the corner. I don't want to get the gift wet and all that kind of stuff. So Jason's going to take me. I'm going to ask my two friends, the one that's hosting and her cousin, if I can film the decorations because the, the one house that we're going to, the host, she actually does professional um, party planning for a job. She does like parties for like corporations. So she has like twenty, thirty thousand dollar budgets. So <laughs> she knows how to plan a party. And I need to learn a thing or two from this girl. So I'm gonna ask her if it's okay if I film her decorations and her food and all that kind of stuff. But I won't film people because I already know most of them don't want to be filmed. But if she lets me film it, you'll see that. Otherwise, I might pop back on and tell you how it went, and we'll just kind of play it by ear. In case I don't come back on and say goodnight to you, goodnight. But if I do, you'll see me in a second. Bye. 